Well, we're on our way. We're hiking on a very nice trail here. There's the Eastern Glacier, which we're going to be climbing tomorrow. Pretty alpine meadow here. We've set up our camp on the ridge of this moraine up above the Easton Glacier. And tomorrow morning, we're gonna be climbing Mount Baker right up along the edge of that glacier, the left edge. We figured out a way to hang up our water filter. Three thirty-two in the morning. We are on our way. All right, we're now roped up and got our crampons and ice axes out. We're going to be on glacier for a long time. Here are our first of many crevasses that we're going to be walking beside. I hear water gurgling down at the bottom of it. Up at the upper right, there's a ice arch. Another big deep crevasse. I'm gonna cross it right here. And the crevasse continues on down that way. Early morning Alpen glow on peaks to the southwest of us, just to the right here. We can see Puget Sound and the shadow of our mountain. Some big, huge ice racks up there. We've got a big crevasse here and a rock formation above us that's spitting out all kinds of rocks that are strewn across the surface here. You can see some vapor coming out of a hot vent up higher. Roy is crossing a bridge across a crevasse and I'm ready with my right hand to stop him if I have to, if he falls in. All right. Well, I'm standing on the snow bridge, trusting it will hold. There is the crevasse. Traversing across the slope. We walked a long ways underneath the big gaping crevasse and Roy has just crossed above it at one end. And here it is looking behind me. All right, we made it to the summit plateau. And apparently to get to the high point, we've got to go to that surprisingly brown mound over there. Roy's climbing the last anthill round section here. Roy's arriving at the summit.
Now well, we're heading back down the so-called railroad grade. That's the beginning of our return to our car.